Hey guys, so today I'm going to give you something that a lot of people have requested. So many people have wanted to see all of our princess costumes, wigs, and such, and so this is something that even like TV stations and stuff have asked to do, and previously we said no. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you don't already know. That kind of explains why I can show this to you now. So I had actually planned to be recording a singing tutorial series for you. I was actually in the process of get, like looking over all the stuff I had to do today and I was like, okay, I gotta get ready and, and record this video. Derek actually came back upstairs and said that we had been robbed. People broke in and I'd never really told people this before or showed anybody this ever on video partially to prevent theft. We actually had a series of four, they were, they were originally storage units, we kind of finished them and made them really nice um, that are in our building so they're inside. So we just kind of have like this hallway that we took over that was really cute down there. We put a lot of work into it. They only got into one of the four units so thankfully we had backup costumes in there. In addition to that, we had a lot of nice sound equipment. For instance, a really large like stage speaker it was my personal one. So there was another big bag of sound equipment that had, which I'm a little sad because there was a microphone in there that we've had a really long time. I always associate it with my mom. She used to be a piano teacher. And um, I always associate that mic with recording her. And we also used it in my, um, for me when I was little. Um, so that was, I was sad that they took that, just um, more for sentimental reasons. And then like, I think my harp tuners were in there too. So I was just very sad that a lot of my stuff for live performing was taken. Thankfully, some of my new recording equipment is upstairs here in my apartment with me, so they didn't get all of it. And they, they took the Barbie wig. Like, I'm like, okay. It's like not even a fancy wig. Like, there were really, really nice wigs in there. And they were like styled and super nice. And the Barbie wig, I didn't even style it. It's just like this cheap, like, I don't know, like a $40 wig. And they took that one. So I'm like, okay, at least if you're going to take one of the wigs, you took that one. But it was weird. They took it off the styrofoam head. Look, I got it. Okay. They took the wig off the styrofoam head. And put the, the like and left the styrofoam head. So okay, like that's I just find that really weird. So it was this mad dash. Like we have before it gets dark, we have to get everything out. So I was like, because I am not filming my singing tutorial uh, today. But as you'll see as I give you the tour, princesses have taken over the living room. That I've never shown this to anybody before. Um, I even had TV crews here asking to see all the stuff but because they were in the storage units and we didn't want people seeing and putting it out there where they all were um we said no and we'd maybe like bring a couple costumes up so you guys are gonna be the first ones to see this and i can show you because we're moving all of this stuff it is not staying in our apartment um we're probably not staying in our apartment after all of these shenanigans all right so you ready we'll get started we're gonna take you on a tour of all of our costumes now. I wanted to do this in the daytime, but I attempted this the first time. I thought I would just hold the camera myself and do it, and that was a terrible idea. So now, thank you, Derek. He's going to video me doing it, but it is in the dark. So over here right now, <laughs> we have a lot of wigs. Um, everything from Lots of Snow Queens, Mermaids, Ice Princesses, Belle, Alice, Pocahontas, things galore all in here. Princesses travel with, with stuff, of course, so they might need a, a trunk or a basket for that. And also we have tiaras galore. <laughs> These are cubbies where our where people are out, they can leave their, their human clothes, as Derek calls them, out. Um, they can leave them in here during the day. So they might need wig pins, or bobby pins, or 
a little clear of our bands, our big bobby pins, our white bobby pins, our big black bobby pins, more wigs. That's just funny because these this is like a really nice wig and it was in the same unit where they stole the cheapy Barbie wig. Here's just a lot of like storage stuff, so everything from huge box of business cards to some add-ons to it. This is one <laughs> of many, many dumbbells. Um, extra of some of the fabric. So this, I'll show you, is some of the underneath side, um, one of the layers in um, the mermaid sparkle gown. It's one of my favorites because when you spin in it, with this uh, sheer layer of organza, it, it, it like kind of shines on the fabric and it makes it look like bubbles. Anyway, in here, usually would be um, what we call our first princess. It's actually out on the couch right now because Derek is making some costume repairs to it behind that. Fun one. Ooh, we actually have a new necklace that is on the way, so we should check the mail and see if it's here. So this and Sparkle Mermaid, these are my two favorites. Bell. My goodness, I'm obsessed with this fabric and like all the details on it. Even like the, let me show you. Even the lace has like these amazing like glitter rhinestone things on them. It just makes me happy. And the skirt is huge and heavy and as is the hoop. Same details, top and the bottom, because it's all coarse matching made from the same fabrics. And behind door number three are ice princess here and the embroidery on this is amazing and not only do I love the embroidery one of my favorite parts about it is it has this built-in petticoat um, so it's just so fun to spin around in it I love it and this is so soft so I bet you can guess who is in here by these lovely silvery blue gloves and headband Cinderella oh my goodness this dress I love it it's super poofy and amazing and just like you walk in a room with a big amazing ball gown and everybody's automatically like Cinderella. Who is next? Who is next? Oh! My favorite character. It's a mermaid. So here we have a tail with, oh it's really cute. This is like the top. This is the bottom. We have two different sizes of shells. I'm gonna make a terrible joke. The A shells and the C shells. <gasps> Derek's not laughing. Kate! Uh, skirt options, multiple skirt options, uh, multiple undershirt options, and here is a fabulous corset. All of these were sewn on by hand. You can see like these amazing patterns in them, so it looks like, like snowflake, and there's even snowflakes at the top, and the boning and how heavy and like solid this is it feels like you're wearing armor I and mean, then lots of coats in case it's cold since we are in Colorado petticoats so these are not hoops they're just like mid-level petticoats so you go under like Sleeping Beauty for instance speaking of Sleeping Beauty this <laughs> little outfit kind of feels like you are in a straight jacket when you're wearing it because the sleeves keep your arms down you can only move them up to about here and so that feels great so this one is really fun i don't ever get to wear it but super sparkly oh here's some fun trim i love this derek sewed all this on himself speaking of derek he sewed this costume himself um without a sewing machine we have Pocahontas in here, a little necklace, and he sewed this by his hands with a needle and a thread, and I think we can just say that he was being really authentic because Pocahontas is so in the a sewing machine. It's, oh, Alice! Alice in Wonderland. She's got her own little short, like, petticoat in here, so she's all ruffly. Scottish princess, she's not that terribly exciting. This is the one I was telling you about with the Super sparkles underneath and when you spin because of skirt. So here's some skirt. It looks like bubbles and it's amazing and 
Um, it's just fun to, to wear it. This top here, and we even have this resin seashell. I had someone else make the resin for me, but then there's 102 Swarovski crystals um, on here that I put on myself. And they're not glued, they're actually bonded on with like this bonding um, adhesive. It was so intense. The little strings of it actually like got on my hand and gave me mild chemical burns. Oh, another fun one. So we've got in here, it's coronation day. This was actually a costume I had before I ever even thought I would have like princess ever after is complete. This casual mermaid dress here. It was really just for me, just for fun. So I was not anticipating that other people would need to wear it. And finally, oh, it's just like the most classic of them all. We've got one more rack and then some shoes. This rack was actually in the room that the people broke in. People, I don't know if it was people or person. Um, so most of this is backup stuff, so backup shirts, old Halloween costume, backup skirts. Actually, I think this is a new skirt. It has the purple on the inside, but we just haven't rotated it in yet. Actually, one of the fancier capes, this one's really long, so we try and only send it out to like events that we know will be indoors. Another backup, um, old smoking outfit here. This is old Rapunzel, we have a new Rapunzel. Oh! This is your Rapunzel. Like this. this is really pretty embroidery on it instead of like the sewn on applique. And oh, I just love this. It's just so fresh and clean and new and lovely and I really like it. Uh, back up Cinderella. Um, Derek says this looks like a bed sheet. <laughs> I think he's right. I'm well, going to be the Latina princess. We've got some Tinkerbell wings. I think Tinkerbell's in here, but um, it's just green. The wings are the cool part. And finally, we have some shoes. Got some Tinkerbell shoes. We have more of these shiny Snow Queen shoes than you could ever possibly know what to do with because we have so many different sizes. Oh, I love these little toes. With pencil shoes. These are awesome. They're so comfortable and they're like the exact same color. Boots for Ice Princess. These right here, I actually just freshly repainted some of these. So, put those there. All right, so that is our princess collection. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour of our princess uh, costumes and wigs that are surrounding me. The singing tutorial will be coming up. Well, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. The thief took the, the fashion doll or Barbie wig. Right off the head, left the head. Someone's running around out there pretending to be Barbie.